So am I right in saying that I am in the very small minority of people that enjoyed the original SMT5? Because I remember playing that game when it first came out, and despite its flaws, I really, really enjoyed it. So imagine my surprise when they announced the remaster introducing new changes and an entirely new story. So let's just get into it today. And here we are, Shin Megami Tensei V Vengeance. So yeah, this is literally my first time like opening up this game and actually like playing it for myself. There's been a lot of games that I've just been trying to catch up on, and honestly, like with all the new stuff coming up, like... I, I really need to get through this backlog as like as fast as I can so I can enjoy the new content. And this being one of them, so let's just get right into it. When I contemplate the brevity of a man's life, I am indifferent to the worldly things. How many are the days I spent in thought? Cool. Ooh, is it good to be back here? Holy shit. You wanna know the best part is? I don't even have to play the original story again to get the new stuff. We can just go straight to the new story. Long ago, I'm excited, the world bro. of order was created by God. And his servants, the angels, led it on its proper course. It was in such a world that countless mortals led happy, fruitful and prosperous lives by his grace however even god's world is not eternal i remember you too the pure i think we got more of the the sister i think the sister only had like one side quest in the original story so hopefully we get to see more of her the hands of human I, I could not remember. I, I do not remember any of these characters' names, but I remember them from their designs. Disrupted order begets chaos, and chaos will likewise be consumed by order in turn. How will these keepers of knowledge strive and perish during their final futile hours? in this doomed world. Let us watch them that uniform our goes hard, bro. Until the new ruler is seated upon the throne. That uniform is stylish. I love it. What is this? A passing soul? Ah, this looks new. Yeah, this is where we pick the, the route we want to take. This is a path linked mm -hmm. to the future. Yeah. The choices you make will affect the very course of the world. Yep. Yes, I cannot wait to hear this new music. I heard it's really good. And the original Listen to Five's music was really good too, so hope to hear more of it. Alright, what we got? Stay your hand now. The soul of that girl. I think that is the new girl, right? Be permitted to exist. By her very nature, she will lead the world into chaos and ruin. She must remain sealed here for all eternity. To take the girl from this place will lead not to the future destined for this world, but to a world yet unknown okay knowing only this will you still take her hand take her hand do not take her hand we are going to take her hand hello thank you Do not forget that with a simple gesture, your decision has hastened the end of the world. We can only pray that you return to the proper path. 
that you find your way again. Okay, I'm not sure what that any of that means, but sure. Girl seems nice. Selecting the story in Shin Megami Tensei Five Vengeance, how the narrative plays out is largely determined by whether you take the girl's hand or not near the beginning of the game. Canon of Creation is the original story of Shin Megami Tensei Five. Canon of Vengeance is the newly added story for Shin Megami Tensei Five Vengeance. You took the girl's hand. You chose Canon of Vengeance. Would you like to start the game with this story? Absolutely. All right. Listen up. Everyone should have their own personal tablets now, but it sounds like some of you still need to get them registered. Those temp accounts are about to expire. So anyone who's been putting it off, better get on that. Get to enter our name and shit. Yeah, okay, so, um, usually with these games, I like to just go for what the canon name of the protagonist is, but, uh, as I've, as I've seen, they don't have their own name, so I'm just gonna go up with the name that I usually go for, which is just most, the most random name ever, Maurice Robertson. Fun fact, this is what I named my uh, protag in Persona 3 when I first played it. Maurice Robertson. There it is. One other thing. It's been getting pretty dangerous out there. Remember the buddy system. Go back to the dorm in groups. That's it for homeroom. And bow. <laughs> Students were advised to head home in groups. You should look for a classmate to walk with. Sweet, look at this. Moving around hey, the school hey. again. Ooh, speaking of all the scary stuff, I heard a first year got attacked near the station. Apparently this shadow came right at her. Huh? A shadow? What do you mean? Well... I mean, that's how she described it. She said some kind of black fog tore her bag up. But then, apparently some girl wearing a Saint Marina Haya uniform saved her. <gasps> No way, that sounds like something out of an anime. Hey, saw you talking to the geek from that cl next class over. Uh, what's his name? Ichiro Dazai? Yeah. Dazai, yeah. I guess he's making videos, trying to put together this web series. Asked me about that slasher incident at the tunnel. Hmm. Oh right, that stuff about some invisible guy with a knife? Makes you wonder what the real story is there. <laughs> yeah, seemed like that was Dazai's point. Said he's gonna solve the mystery of the slasher in the tunnel. Really helped himself up, you know. You wanna know who the- I think the biggest name at the school is? It's gotta be Yuzuru. Uh... Yuzuru Atsuta, right? The honor student from Class B? I guess he's the best we've got in the academics, yeah. <laughs> but in terms of the girls, it'd be Tao Osonokami, right? She's smart, a great athlete, nice, she's got it all. Hey! Hey, I'm smart, I'm athletic, I'm nice. Huh? You wanna walk home together? Eh, uh, going home in a group sounds like a right pain in the ass. I'm just gonna go out alone. <sighs> if you can't find anyone else, maybe you should do the same, huh? Student went home by himself. He decided to go home alone as well. Hey, you heading back alone? Hey. User Atsuta. You heard that talk about it being safer to go home in groups, right? You should walk with us. Fun effect, his voice actor shares the same one as Seth in a place with cross tag battle. See so, ya. Yeah. Uh, sure. Oh! Hey, you two! Over here! Tao also no Kami. Miyazu Atsuda. See, so yeah, they're siblings. I didn't know you knew him, Miyazu. I mean, not really. They've met in passing. Those gloves are adorable. I think Miyazu and I ran into him a couple times. Yeah, Tao. Something like that. 
Aww, you're lucky your big brother looks out for you so much, huh? Um, I guess. We're the only family we've got. I don't think it's that strange to look out for my little sister. <laughs> sure, sure. So, how about we all walk home together? Hell yeah. Oh, right. Tao, you said you wanted to talk about something? Oh, it's nothing. I've just been having these weird dreams lately. Kind of Kingdom Hearts shit. I keep shit. hearing this distant voice, like someone far away is calling out to me. It keeps getting closer and closer, but just when it seems like they've almost found me, I wake up. And I keep having that dream every night. Kind of getting to me. I wish someone could tell me what it all means. Probably a reflection of something subconscious. Maybe you're just stressed over the future. It would make sense since... What's going on over there? Something going on? Looks like. Here, I'll go check it out. The entire path is blocked off by a blue sheet. Doesn't look like you can pass through. Hey! I heard someone got eaten. Was it some kind of wild animal? Huh? I tried to get a look, but it's hard to tell. Blood everywhere, though. <laughs> I gotta record this. This is gonna blow up online. It looks like something happened here. The onlookers are talking about it. Oh, hi. What's good? My brother came back, but... He needed to take a call or something, walked off somewhere. Then Tao got a message too. She went looking for somewhere quiet to try calling back. <laughs> uh, would you mind checking up on my brother? I know he's always looking after me, but I get worried about him too. Leave it to me. Thanks. I'll just wait here in case Tao comes back. You got it. Hey. Our boy does I. Alright. So word on the street is a bunch of monsters have been seen hanging around this tunnel. There's our man. Ceiling's pretty low. Pretty dark in here, too. Looks dangerous. Sure hope nothing bad happens down there. All right. Enough screwing around. Let's go even deeper, yeah? I think we might be onto something big. Hey. Hey, what are you doing here? Uh oh. Oh, Lord. Now, where did we end Long up? Long ago, before these creatures known as humans gained knowledge, the God of Law seated himself upon the throne of creation. He sees all knowledge from the other gods, rebuking so they could never dare to approach the throne. Reducing them to mere demons. The fruit of knowledge was secreted away in a paradise of his own creation. One day, a serpent sought out the mortals, 
seeking to tempt them into doing his will. Eat the fruit of knowledge in this paradise, and you will become more like God. The serpent's mm -hmm. goal was to revive the war of the myriad gods. Oblivious to the serpent's machinations, the mortals of each realm ate the fruit. One after another, without fail. The knowledge they devoured then bound to their souls, birthing humans closer to gods. Mm -hmm. When the god of law saw this, he banished all humanity from his paradise in a fit of rage. There it is, there's a tree. Hey, title drop. Oh yeah. Shin Megami Tensei 5, Vengeance. Know that you are observed by countless demons, waiting for their chance to strike. I cannot, when I tell you, I cannot wait to dig deeper into the story, just to see what stuff they changed, what made better. Because the, the original story had like a lot of potential to it. But like it just fell short of certain things and yeah. But yeah. Replaying it again, like it's gonna be good. I can already bet you. Hello. How can this be? A human walks among us. You're good over there. This is no place for one such as you. I shall grant you sanctuary. Fortunate an angel of Bethel found you. Were it an agent of chaos in my stead, you may not be alive. Remain calm and keep still. You will be safe momentarily. Hey, come back. Oh shit. Get a load of this shit. Oh, time to get off our asses and do something about this. No matter how many times you look, it's the same seemingly endless sea of sand. It's safe to assume this isn't a dream. We decide to move onward for now. Look at this. Actually playing this on like a high performance console. Quote unquote, I'm actually playing this on PC, as usual, but you know. Actually seeing like these environments with like good graphics and stuff, like it hits different, without a doubt. Uh oh. We got trouble. But suddenly... Target confirmed. Hello, Algami. Yes, sir. Voiced by none other than Damon Mills. Was good. If you wish to live, take my hand. Why not?
dap of the century. Hey, that tree looks familiar. Hell yeah. The Nahobino awakens. Fused with the proto fiend Algami. Thunder! Oh! You So, the Nahobino make themselves known again. After all this time, knowledge and life have remained separate until now. Perhaps the future is secured. Light or dark, you may chase whatever you please. I shall await you in the realm beyond the earth and heavens. Until then, may your newfound power guide your survival. Hell yeah. Let's do this. You demons are nothing to me. Young man, can you hear me? You Use that music. One. We have ascended to become a being known as Anahobina. Our form is based on my own appearance, but your knowledge seems to be the basis of our consciousness. I shall obey your will. Command me in battle, that we may best fight as one. Damn right. <laughs> That's Casey Mongila, by the way. Die, bitch. Yeah, we had two HP already. Ah uh, yes, hasn't he difficulty? All hostile targets eliminated. Yes, sir. Where are we? This place is what is now called the Netherworld. It seems its demon inhabitants were targeting you. Demons? Correct. Descendants of the gods of old, known now as demons. Furthermore, this is home to the demons. The Netherworld. But do not worry. I, Protofiend Algami, am here to assist you. Together, we have become a being known as a Nahobino. This new body should allow us to fend off the demons. Let us keep this form until we reach a safe location. I'd like you to go here, as it should help us get a better grasp of this world. You got it. Hello, landscape. Observe, young man. This land is known as the Netherworld. This isn't Tokyo? I've heard that this place was once known as Tokyo. But that time has passed. Now it is the Netherworld, a land dominated by demons. Did humanity die out? Hmm. I'm afraid I lack the data needed to answer your inquiry right now, young man. All I can remember is that there was a battle here in days past, between gods and demons. Two great forces clashed right here in front of Tokyo Tower. I know this because I was there as well. Despite this, however, the data containing my memory of what followed has been damaged. The only other memory I have is of my mission to protect you. It seems this Algami character can't explain anything further. Young man, perhaps we could make our way to Tokyo Tower? If we return to the last location in my memory, I may be able to remember something else. Going with Algami's suggestion seems to be the best course of action for now. 
Accepted quest, the lay of the land. There's a ley line found there. Hmm. Can I see a meme? Uh, Mimon? Yeah, that's what they're called, Mimon. After comparing this blue pillar of light with my data, I have concluded this is a ley line fount. These were the originally the only ways you could save the game a line by fount finding is a these. From which the Earth's energy overflows. As one might surmise, it holds incredible power. Not only can it heal those who touch it, but it can also instantly teleport one to another location. Considering the damage sustained in your previous battle, I recommend you verify its healing capabilities. Agreed. Is our boy Gustav here? Well, you're a peculiar one, aren't you? Yeah, was good. Really now? You want to know where you are? <laughs> Why, this is the place I call home. As you can plainly see, I'm a bit of a collector of sorts. It's easy living. What with the riffraff out there and me in here? <laughs> Still, a demon like you's a first. One body, sure, but I can sense two spirits within, no doubt about it. <laughs> Pleasure having you. Keeper of the Cadaver's Hollow, boss of the Mimon, Gustav. You may call me Gustav. See something you like? It's all yours. For a small fee, of course. <laughs> yeah, this theme. I remember this theme all too well. It is so. It is a so, banger. Off to Tokyo Tower, are we? And you found little old me while trying to harvest the power of the leyline fount. Yes. <laughs> then you ought to do yourself a favor and make a purchase. I'll sell you what you crave, long as you've got the marker. Give yourself an edge against the demons, why don't you? <laughs> Satisfied your curiosity, have you? Allow me to send you back on your way. Before that, however... I couldn't help but think our meeting like this must be fate. So perhaps you can do me a favor. I'm rather taken with the human knickknacks and relics of yore, so I got some palms to go out and fetch them for me. Mimon, they're called. Trouble is, they're fickle, and even worse, forgetful. Oftentimes, they give up the search and do whatever they please. <sighs> useless. That said, if you happen to run across any, mind sending them back old Gustav's direction? I'll see to it you're rewarded. <laughs> also, I've taken liberty to connect this place to the Leyline Fount. Feel free to come and go as you fancy. <laughs> Till next time! He's the best. Oh, yes, of course! Here, allow me to show you the ins and outs of the Leyline Fount. I can use the flow to heal you if you fancy. But I can't do it for free! <laughs> Cough up a little Maka, however, I'll set you right his reign. Oh yeah, I forgot Be about good that. good to remember that. Hey. Davis Hall has been unlocked. Recovery has been unlocked. Young man, could that be one of the Mimon we were told about? It was goody. Huh? Gustav want us back back? Bye-bye! Well, no find any relics yet. Fine, fine, I'll head back. Five glory. We've located a Mimon. We should report back to Cadaver's Hall. <laughs> Found a meme on already, have we? My thanks, friend. I got just the thing to show my appreciation. Gustavo will reward you with various items depending on how many meme on return to him. So try and find as many of them as you can throughout the Netherworld. 
on Meraki's essence. This is an essence. It contains the power of a demon. Power that only the Chosen can wield. You'll want to make your merry way over to the Leyline Fount in Nita. Someone there will be able to tell you more, I'm sure. Oh, hey, Pixie. Young man, it appears there's a demon up ahead. I have a proposal. It's dangerous to travel the netherworld alone. Therefore, I recommend we recruit some demons to fight on our side. By talking to demons, what a great idea you can that try is. and persuade them to join your cause. I have a lifestone you can use. See if you can convince the demon to join you. You obtained lifestone. Hey there, you started talking to the demon. Whoa, he talked to me. Could this demon want me to join him? Okay then, let's talk. I'm gonna ask you a question, so make sure you answer in a way that make me happy, okay? So, do you think I'm cute? You're cute, not really, I'm kidding. You're cute. <laughs> Thanks. Well then, let me ask you one more question. Do you want me to join you? I do. Gotcha! I wouldn't mind giving that a thought, you know? But demons won't join you for free. You gotta give them all kinds of stuff, like items or maka. I'm gonna tell you what I want, so make sure you give that to me. Hmm, what should I do? I want one lifestone. Very well. Okay, well done. I'd be happy to join you now. You'll be able to get other demons to join you by negotiating just like we did right now. But demons are pretty fickle, so it might not go as easily as it did with me. Even if you mess up, don't worry. Just hang in there. I'm Fairy Pixie. I hope we get along. Thanks. Got a nice little healer. Oh, look at that. Slime up ahead. Young man, there is a demon up ahead. Allow me to teach you an efficient way to engage the enemy. Striking from behind? When confronting demons, the best strategy is to strike them with your blade. In many cases, this will give you the initiative in the battle. On the other hand, if you are attacked, the enemy may very well gain the initiative instead. Observe the enemy's movements and act accordingly to earn an advantage in battle. Got him. Let's go. Let's see if we can talk to these guys. Demon is trying to leave. What will you do? Stop him. Ugh, stop annoying me. If you want my time, it's gonna cost you. Let's see here. One dark shard. I don't have that. Then... 87 marker. I don't have that. Uh, this ain't going nowhere. Alright. Demon is beckoning you closer. What will you do? Get out! Some presents now! Let's see. Four shard. One of that. Deadly amount of your HP. Sure. Now that's tasty. They call me foul slime. Pleasure is all mine. <laughs> Thanks. Got two new demons. Don't, do not want to lose that progress. Hell no. This is SMT. You really, really, really need to save often because you don't know what kind of bullshit these demons will pull. So yeah, definitely advise that you save as often as you can. Just so calamity doesn't strike you in the most unlikely moment. Oh my god, why are there so many? Uh, I don't like where this is going. Oh god. Oh, I'm jumping me like this. Oh no, we got a split. I mean, we have max mod up to you, but maybe we have a chance, but like, there are six of these motherfuckers. Ah, oh, fuck it, we want them. Whatever. Whatever. Let's, 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 let's try. Let's try to see if we can squeeze our way out of this.
Oh, yeah. Oh, God. Oh, God. A little longer than a few minutes later. You looking at me, buddy? You want some of this? I'll stone cold murder you. Hey, keep your distance. I'm serious. What the shit? You can't get any closer and we'll be practically kissing. Wait, that look in your eye. Crap, just like in those fanfics, which means... I gotta get out of here! Alright. See if he'll bite. Let's compare strength like real men. I'll challenge you to arm wrestling. Uh, sure, why not? Did I lose? Yeah. Figured. Here, I'll toughen you up a bit. Pixie step forward and defuse the situation. Demon's mood changed. Gotta get some human stank on you. I used to be human. Huh? Wait, have I heard about someone like that? Are you? You're Maurice Rappiton, right? I've heard about you. The way I hear is you're making waves out there. Makes me wonder if I should get in on that. Let's see. Give me some of your HP. Uh, sure. Why not? Some of your MP. Sure, why not? Oh, that feels great. I'm Han Prada. Good to meet you. Here we go. Good stuff. We got a full party now. Look at that. Progress. Her, her, I'm a Mokoi. This is a dead end, pal. Too bad for you. You wanna get past here? You gotta go back to the fork in the road and go the other way. If you take a big detour, you'll see a train. It's an E23-some series? I don't know. Some huge-ass number. I forget. Looks cool, though. Appreciate it. Demon would change when full moon or new moon coming. Big opportunity when demon is in good mood. Thanks for the tip. Ooh, I see a side quest. Young man, I'm detecting several demons within the cave. However, they don't appear to be dangerous. Perhaps you can try speaking with them, if you are willing. What's up, y'all? Oh, you're late. Wait, who are you? I thought it was the boys. A while back, some of us went out searching for food, but no one's returned yet. Hey, think you could look for my buddies? I'm starving over here. Sure. Praetor predicament. Ooh, thanks. If you spot them, tell them to get their asses back here pronto and make sure they bring food. Sudeishimas. Oh god. What's good, Oh god. I got startled. Serious? Alright, I guess I can pull all the stops too. Got him. Oh, there's more. Alright. After defeating an enemy, another demon may appear to continue the battle. This fight will become tougher than usual, but winning will grant you additional Maka and DXP, as well as higher likelihood of items dropping. Consecutive encounters are more likely to occur when fighting in areas where many enemy demons are gathered. Stay vigilant if you want to avoid them. Still in Magatsuhi too. Two very boring minutes later. 
There we go, nice. That took a lot. But look at the rewards we got. Hell yeah. Hey, I'm an Ozako. Wherever you are, there you are. You don't want to eat me? Not a lot of flavor, you know? Trust me! Oh, hey! You! You with the long hair! You'll save me, right? Oh, please! Who are you? You think you can snatch away our prey? Well, damn, you're starving in here! So I guess we'll be slapping you on the menu, too! See if you can. Huh? <laughs> Got the nerve to pull up on me. Weak as hell. Look at that. Now you're dead. Dumbasses. Ooh, that's a relief. Seriously, thanks. You really saved me back there. Huh? You know, now that I think about it, I like totally had the judgment to ask for your help. So doesn't that make me awesome too? Okay, never mind then. Like you deserve thanks anyway. The only reason I'm alive is because I asked you for help, and you know it. Don't try to deny it, either. Yeah, it... The demon in the kimono has rather liberally interpreted the situation. What will you do? Ask if she's hurt, tell her she's annoying, leave. Ask if huh? she's hurt. Oh, what, you're worried about me? <laughs> oh, you're sweet. Yep, I'm just fine. All good over here. Wait a sec. I just realized I've never seen you before, huh? <laughs> wow, how weird. So, so who are you? Hmm? Where are you headed? Young man, there are demons in this world that feign kindness to prey on you. <laughs> I suggest we ignore her and move on. What? Hey, you're leaving? Like, seriously? Uh. <laughs> well, well, fine. See if I care. The demon in the kimono left. Probably never see her again, right? Like, not at all. Demon is trying to leave, what will you do? Good luck! I'm way too fast for you. Chase after them. Caught up with the demon. <laughs> Whoa, you're super fast! Okay, I'll join you. Hey, I'm Raptor on Meraki. Let's have some fun, yeah? Maybe there's some food lying around here. The guys at the cave are waiting for me. What are they gonna say when they find out I don't have anything? Oh yeah, another one of us ran off to be guided by a goddess or whatever that means. Wonder if he's alright. Where'd he go? He said the goddess is somewhere around here. Well now, isn't this a sight to behold? Who could that be? Let me see your face. At last, you have arrived. Hello. All of this time, waiting. And only now does one possess the power to see me. One who has awakened to their true form through the reunion of knowledge and life. A Nahobino. I am Sophia. I have come from a plane far beyond this one to act as a guide to both the world and the Nahopino. Ruler of the World of Shadows, Sophia. However, I see now that although your power should rival that of the gods, it is unstable, incomplete. 
it. So are you gonna help me with that or something? Allow me to awaken some of that which still slumbers within. Let us see what you hide. No objections here. Sweet. You now possess the means to gain essences, allowing you a myriad of powers and miracles, the ability to shape the world. Henceforth, you shall traverse Dot and gather these essences, along with glory, as these are the very source of miracles. Got it. These shall be your source of power as a Nahobino, and will surely aid you on your path to godhood. Hmm. It appears you're already in possession of an essence. Go on, then. Use Apotheosis and we accept that essence into your being. The World of Shadows offers an option under Apotheosis called Est's Fusion that allows the teachings of skills to both the Nahobino and his demons. Try learning some skills with an essence in your possession. Let's do it. Essence Fusion. To perform an essence fusion, first select the target you want to merge the essence into. You can choose the Nahobino or a demon ally to inherit the power of essences. Once you have selected a target, find which essence you wish to use. As you browse through your essences, their providable skills and other information will be displayed on the left side of the screen. Once you have determined which one you want to use, select it. There are no limits to the number of essences you can use, so perform as many essence fusions as you like. Yeah, this is a pretty key mechanic to learn here, so yeah. Oh, is that a dead angel? The angels are dead. It appears as though they went torn apart by sharp claws. This is... Could this be the work of a nearby demon? It must be a fearsome enemy. Young man, I'm detecting the presence of powerful demons from within that red object ahead. That is what is known as an abscess. It is a nest of demons that have been drawn together by the overflowing spiritual power. Approaching it is dangerous, but we will need to destroy it if we want to reach Tokyo Tower. Combat is unavoidable. We should be able to proceed given our current fighting capability. However, if you feel like you are in danger, do not hesitate to fall back. Abscesses are outpourings of Magatsuhi that have been claimed by demons. Demons who hold these areas will attack anyone who gets close. Until you slash the abscess and defeat the demon, or demons, housed within, it is wise to remain cautious. Upon the demon's defeat, the hidden powers will be granted to the Nahobino. Yes. Mandrix. Get with the fire. Yep, sure. Oh lord, he should die these next couple turns. Weak? Are you missed, you son of a bitch? Alright, just got one to deal with. As long as we hold our ground, we should be fine. Bye, Pixie. We did it. New miracles. Oh boy, I thought we'd never see each other again. I was watching you. Oh, you must be pretty tough if you can take out an abscess like that. Still, you're super outnumbered. Bet you got a little beat up, huh? Oh, I know. Here, I'll give you this. Hmm, just so we're clear, I didn't do this for you or anything. I just happened to pick it up, so here, take it or whatever. Yeah, okay. 
demon in a kimono has offered you a bead. Sure, why not? Thanks. Not exactly the best way to say thanks, but uh, maybe it'll help you out. Maybe? If you want, I, I mean, can That's a really good item, so thanks for that. Young man, this demon's intentions are unknown. I suggest we ignore her and move on. Hey, what's with the face, huh? You could at least try to look appreciative. Alright, I'm gonna go find more stuff. Then you'll see how helpful I am, and then you'll take me with you. It's a promise, okay? The demon in the kimono left. Young man, do you see that object in front of you? What is that? This is a Magatsuhi rail, a concentration of spiritual power you can use to reach another location. If you are attempting to navigate to any unexplored areas, I recommend traversing where they may lead. Magatsuhi rails connect two locations with Magatsuhi, allowing you to quickly move between them. Press A near a Magatsuhi rail to activate it. Well there, pal. I wouldn't go past here if I were you. Didn't you see those dead angels? There's a real beastly demon that went down this way. If you get caught by those shark claws, you'll end up just like them. Young man. That information could be useful. We should be prepared. I suggest we proceed with caution. Now that I think about it, this place was in another world until about 20 years ago. Before that, I heard humans used to live here. Nobody knows why this place turned all netherworldy, though. What's up with you? Look like a Luigi's Mansion ghost. Demon is approaching. What do you do? Keep calm. You think you're such a cool guy, huh? Well, actually, you kinda pulled off. How about we see who's better at texting? You versus me. The fastest texter wins. Sure. Text it as fast as your fingers would allow. You won. Wow, you're fast. Are you, like, the fastest texter in the netherworld? I'm coming with. I'm Jockey Gremlin. Let's have some fun. Definitely look like it's I Glad to have you on, Gremlin. Hey, Atsuda. Oh, glad you're okay. It's you, right? I know you look different, but somehow I can feel it. It's still you in there. Take a look. That's a lot of rust, but I'd know that green stripe anywhere. This train car's from the Yamanote line. But if this is the train, then what exactly happened here? What could have possibly happened to Tokyo while we were in that tunnel? Beats me. Seems this is the netherworld, maybe it's 20 years in our future. I mean, from what we've heard. What? But... That would mean that the world we've known is... Never mind. We need to focus on getting more information. First, we need to regroup with the other students. Dazai was around there too, if I recall. What? Abducted? And by some kind of angel? Well, I suppose that decides it. We should split up and search for this angel. Don't worry. The truth is... I can control demons. I'm with a group that's, that's working to protect the world. They gave me a demon summoning program. A host of you. demons is trying to drag Tokyo into darkness. And we have the power to stop them. What was that? I'm not just trying to protect myself. I'm fighting to save everyone. Look out! Hello. What the hell is this? That was a close call. Where'd he come from? That creature is Glacia Labalus, better known as the Beast of Bloodshed. Hey, new girl. Okay, who are you? I am Yoko Hiramine. Now let's kill this thing. Go. Oh, new music. Damn.
As the story progresses, human characters may participate as allies in battle. These characters can fight like demon allies as well as use items. Make use of the different strengths human allies and demons allies provide to gain the advantage in battle. Let's see if I can find a weakness. Yep. Hey, Nepo Shogun. Nope. Oh god, Blockland, okay. Well. You. Yeah. Kind of a waste, but you know what? Whatever. Oh my god. Okay. One million zillion jillion dillion cotillion times later. There we go. Pixie with the finishing blow. Like that. Got away. Y'all good? Both of y'all got bodied. You were Hiro Mine, right? We appreciate the help. I did most of the work, though. It. Happy to help out. So what are your names, then? Great. Well, I'm Yuzuru Atsuta, and this is... We're students over at Joeen High School, actually. I can't believe that thing. I've seen it before. That demon came at me at Shinagawa Station. I lost track of it at Takanawa Tunnel, right when the earthquake hit. When I came to, I was here, though I'm not sure where here is. My story's about the same. I was out on the road near Takanawa Tunnel. The next thing I knew, I was in this wasteland. I heard someone talking, and then I noticed the demon preparing to pounce. We lucked out then. This place is definitely dangerous. And that's about you all didn't I realize know that right before? Now. So I think you should probably go with him. It'll be much safer that way. We should split up and see what we can find out. Sounds good. Let's go. Use your house, it has left the party. Hey. Let's get something out of the way first. I can see that you have some sort of unusual power. And as you witnessed during the battle just now, I have powers of my own. It's fine. I can handle myself, so you don't need to worry about making sure I'm safe. Do you want to hear something? How can you use magic? <sighs> I was a student at St. Marina's Girls High School, but it was no ordinary school. That was where I learned all about demons and how to exercise them. As for the magic, let's just say it's a special talent of mine that I refine there. But still. In any case, if we can both handle ourselves, we'll be able to work together. Well... For now, I'll go ahead and let you take charge. But, if I decide you're not up to the task, you'll do what I say instead. Does that sound fair? Sure, I Let's guess. Work together. Then it's a deal. Lead the way, Maurice. Necessary 